Okay, so my story was Anansi and the Turtle. Um, in it, it's like, it's like Anansi made these delicious like, yams and he baked them. And he's about to eat them. The turtle's like, hey man, I'm really hungry. Can I have some of your yams? And Anansi's like, oh, oh, okay, but first you need to wash your hands because you're really dirty. And then like the turtle crawls on like all fours because he's a turtle to the river and washes his hands and crawls back on all fours, and the Nazi's like, oh, your hands are still dirty. Oh, oh, sorry. And so it keeps going until all the ants are eaten. So there's only two characters in my story, so I changed it so that Hippo was having a dinner party, and then a Nazi's still like, mm, no yams for anyone but me. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, and the end, the turtle's like, I will remember this, and I will give you the same amount of hospitality when you come to my house. <laughs> okay, so um, the, the animals I chose were the hippo, the sloth, uh, the spider, the turtle, the sand, and the sand cat. And, um, and the narrator character is a griot. Um, it's an uh, African storyteller. Um, and so it's like traditionally, like they like sing songs and they tell the stories to the kids. And so I chose a modern griot, and specifically Mori Kante, who is a griot, but he's also like a musician and a singer, and he's actually like a little bit well known in the States, because he had the song called Yiki Yiki, uh, that came out in 2011. And um, so the narrative character is based on him, and the idea is that he would be like playing a music, an instrument and singing while the story happens. Um, and because I chose a, because I really wanted to choose a modern griot, because I thought that would be really cool. And um, and then I based the other designs on like a more like contemporary aesthetic. Um, so that's Mori Kante right there. And then the sand cat, she's supposed to be like sassy and her stripes on her dress reflect like the stripes on the sand cat because he's a little striped guy. Like you can see here, he's got stripes on his arms. And he stretches out his legs because he like blends in with the sand. Uh, the turtle, I choose an African horned tortoise. Um, and like the coat is very, is like patterned like a shell and it's like kind of big so it can be like, mm. um, Anansi himself, I found these uh, illustrations of the Anansi stories by Gerald McDermott. And I really like them a lot. Like they were really like nice and colorful and like use like the pattern, like the pattern that is in the background, it came from the book. Um, and it's a spider web. And so I had that really cool pattern that I wanted to incorporate to the other pieces. Like, um, you can see it like most of the turtle because that pattern came like from here. That's it. Um, and so, and then he has a Nazi's wearing like a, he's kind of silly, he has like this big tie and like these like, like suspenders and his dreadlocks. Um, they're supposed to be dreadlocks, and they're all down, and they're supposed to be his, his legs. Um, but the sloth, I wanted him to have this giant fur coat that he can just kind of curl up and fall asleep in. He's really comfortable, and he moves really slowly. Because I was like, kind of like this, and like sloths can't see. <laughs> so he's wearing glasses. And um, the hippo is a, a strong, powerful businesswoman. And she's big, and she's in charge, and she's wearing her gray leather suit. That's who she is. Um, that's it. Thank you. Comment? Okay. I really like the background. Thanks. And you like the yeah. yeah, where did you find the Gerald McDermott? Um, online. Um, I was like I was like looking up like a Nazi because I wanted to know learn more about a legend and I found him and I was like, oh, this is cool. So I ended up incorporating his artwork into my designs. It's a great children's I don't know if it was a copy my issue. Yeah. Um, I think it's an inspiration. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It's like, you know, I use Edward Hopper's for a tartu. Right. So I use okay. German Dermot's here. <laughs> you just have to, uh, yeah, just make like that. You re sort of refashioned the story a little bit to create more characters to you know, reinterpreted it and kept the idea of it the story. Um. And I really think, um, you know, for the tortoise, 
you could have easily, you know, you said you use that too, but you, but it's kind of the same thing. I mean, you could have easily incorporated that into the jacket, the same pattern. So trust your instincts a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I really like the idea of doing dreadlocks as the legs because I would never think of making the hair the legs of the spider. Like I would always think I had to close and that was really cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are those those glasses boys and glasses? Um, <laughs> and I think that Emily just acted out that story for us. <laughs> the drama person. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Last